Good morning, Pastor Bob Reynolds here from True Life Community Seventh Adventist Church once again to meet with you. I suppose you've probably heard of churches where some of the members don't get along so well. <laughs> well, it happens. Some someone may say something that uh, insults somebody, or they may even, in a joking manner, say something that causes people uh, not to come back to church. You know. There's a story that I read about two porcupines. It's written by Leslie Flynn. She tells about it in a book titled, When the Saints Go Storming In. <laughs> she says in this book, uh, two porcupines in Northern Canada huddled together to get warm, according to a forest folk tale. But their quills kept pricking each other so they moved apart. Before long, they were shivering, so they sidled close to each other again. Soon, both were getting jabbed again. Same story, same ending. They needed each other, but they kept needling each other. <laughs> Another author by the name of Thomas Brooks wrote, For wolves to worry lambs is no wonder, but for lambs to worry one another, this is unnatural and monstrous. You know, we are lambs. All of us are lambs. We are lambs in a sheepfold called the church. And Jesus is the shepherd. He wants us to be lambs that don't worry one another. He wants our speech and our actions to be such that we show love to one another, that we care for one another. Paul wrote to the Colossians in chapter 4 and verse six, 6, he says, Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each other. Not just answer each other, but talk to each other. You'll know how to correspond. You'll know how to converse in a graceful manner. Let's pray for that today, shall we? Father, it's such a wonderful thing to be in a sheepfold because it's a place of safety. We have a shepherd who takes care of us. His name is Jesus. The sheepfold is the church. We want to be safe there. We want to be held by the shepherd and loved and cared for. I pray that for each of us today in Jesus' name. Amen.